Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. What can I say? There I was one night browsing eBay. I wasn't even looking for this and it just popped up and I started bidding. And I bid low and I didn't expect to win. <clears throat> and I did win. <laughs> and I just can't believe it. I mean, this thing dates from 2006. The box is completely immaculate. Everything's immaculate. It looks completely unused. I've had a quick look already. And the only thing I can find wrong is one lens is missing out of that light. That one there. But I've seen those online. I can buy those for, I don't know, a couple of euros. And I think it needs a traction band around that wheel. But other than that, it's just immaculate. Got all the original stickers from 2006 on it. I mean, I never intended to go digital, you know? That one's still got the band. Also 2006, looks like January, possibly. I don't know, January 2006. That's the digital station. All the springs work fine in the connections. It's got the stickers. Cables. This is the same, accurate, quite heavy. I, don't I need two hands to pull that out, so it's about five amps, I think. And it's the parallel version as well. It's got the P, <clears throat> which means it's parallel, which is, I think, version two or version three of uh, LGB Digital. Um, yeah, I, like I said, I didn't, didn't set out to find this. It found me. And I tell you what, when I take this home and the missus sees it, I'm dead meat, but it's going to be worth every single handbagging. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'm so dead. This is great. But there's a sticker there. Let's have a look. Yep. Sticker in that. Yep. Stickers on that. There's a different... This is the one of the early controllers. There's another one which is just buttons, and it's uh, you can use it for programming as well. Um, I've got a programming cable on the way as well. Uh, I never intended to go digital, but it's just kind of happened, really. Um, yeah, what can I say? <laughs> Very cheesy graphics on the box. All the original stickers. Some of the paperwork. There's a booklet track connection cables another one of these I've already got like four of these I needn't have bothered <laughs> the only thing missing is the track there's no track in the box but I'm not bothered I've actually got all the track I need for my layout in the garage so that's not a problem but yeah totally unused and I, I never intended to get this I was just going to stick with analog but I bid so low thinking I wouldn't win and I did I don't know why but it just happened so I mean, this little locomotive is, it's very toy-like, but it's kind of cheeky, I like it. It's got, I don't know if you can see, it's got a, a light inside, all the drivers. These lights flash as well, apparently. Those lights come on. Yeah. Absolutely unbelievable. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope to do a running video of this one day. I have no idea if all this works right enough. I mean... Might have bought 11, but I don't think so. I think it's all there. It's just immaculate, you know. Okay, guys, that's it. I'm uh, <clears throat> I'm still here in Germany. I'm going home uh, on Thursday, Friday. I'm going to I'm gonna have to leave this here because I'm coming back in January. Um, but then I've got a I'm going home again on the 9th of January, so I've got a, a what we call a Siemens ticket for maritime people, and we're allowed huge amounts of baggage, so. Might try and get this home and my other set as well. And all the other bits and pieces I've been buying. Um, or I might just ship it separately. I don't know. But one thing's for certain, I'm absolutely dead meat when I get home. Mrs. H is going to kill me. <laughs> it's going to be worth it. It's just, just too good to be true. Anyway, that's it. Okay, guys, you take care of yourselves. And we'll do another video sometime soon. I don't know when, but I'll try my best to get one out. Take care.